Who can create open interest in options trading? Buyer or seller? The ideal question for this topic would be who comes to the options market first to trade? It is known that there are two kinds of people who engage in options trading. One is an option buyer, and another is an option seller. So, among those two, who come to the options market first to trade and create open interest? Options buyer? Or option seller? The answer is option seller. Option sellers are the people who come first and create open interest. Option sellers are the people who come to the option market first. Option sellers are the people who create sell positions first. Option buyers are not able to create positions or open interest first. So, without option seller, option trading doesn't exist. Without an option seller, there will not be any trades in the options trading. Let's see why. Generally, in trading, we all know that if one has to sell shares, there must be a buyer. Without a buyer, he cannot sell. If one has to buy shares, there must be a seller. Without the seller, he cannot buy. Yes, the above concept is absolutely correct. Now you may have a question and confusion in mind. In options trading, how can the seller create a position first without the buyer? Right? Now you may also have a question. If the seller creates a sell position first, he can only create it from a buyer. So, buyers are the ones who came first in options trading. Right? Yes, your question and confusion are correct, but the truth is different. In options trading, Initially, a seller only can only create positions without a buyer. Shocking, right? Don't worry. Now let's go to the real-time example. You will be amazed. Let's assume you have a naturally grown plant in your backyard. Now you want to sell this plant via an online e-commerce website or you want to sell it to a local plant shop. Now automatically, you became a seller directly, right? You didn't buy that plant from anybody or any buyer. So, without a buyer, you became a seller here. Because that plant is your own product, and you didn't buy it from anybody. If those plant owners or sellers don't have plans to sell in the market, then there will not be any plants in the market. Same as that, if there are no option sellers, then there is no option trading. Let's see another example. If you know about an IPO, initial public offering, I can give you another example. People who don't know about IPOs, please forget this example. We will teach you about IPOs later. An IPO simply means a company has started selling its shares to the public via exchange for the first time, right? It's their own company, their own product, and their own shares, and they start selling it directly. They didn't buy their shares from some other company. They are selling it directly to the public. Here, they also become sellers directly when they have their own company shares. Now you got it, right? Like that, in options trading, an option seller can only create a sell position without a buyer. Take a note of one more important thing. In this video, we have used the word create many times. Like options seller only can create sell positions. Have you noticed? What do you mean by create here? Options sellers can only create sell positions, but sellers cannot increase the open interest. Once again, sellers can only create sell positions but sellers cannot increase the open interest. Then how does open interest increase? Open interest increases only after a buyer buys a share from the created seller. Note, an option seller alone can create a sell position without the help of an option buyer. 
but both the option seller and the option buyer together can only increase open interest. Okay, now let me explain the same plant example in a little more advanced way. So that you will get it very clearly. Now, when one has his own plant, he can become a seller directly without the help of a buyer. Now in this present scenario, he has become a seller, and he wishes to sell his plant, but he hasn't sold it yet. He is just trying to sell it to someone, or he is finding a buyer. So, in this scenario, open interest will be zero. Because he hasn't sold his plant yet. He is finding a buyer to sell his plant. Open interest will increase only after the seller finds a buyer and the buyer buys it. Now you may say this is a plant example, and you want to know exactly how it works in real options trading. Let's go. In real options trading, the person who actually owns the plant is the exchange, not the seller. Exchange doesn't want to become a seller even though they own the plant because they don't want to take risks, so they keep the plants to themselves. But exchange can give the plants to sellers as a contract by collecting huge margin from the sellers. Take careful note. Here the exchange didn't want to sell the plant. Instead, they can give it to sellers as a contract to earn money. If exchanges want to sell the plant, then they need only buyers, right? But they don't want to sell and take risks. They just want to give the plant as a contract to someone and earn without taking risks, so they give the contract to sellers only. Now, option sellers. What they do with the plant is, option seller. Take that plant from the exchange as a contract and sell it to buyers. So the conclusion is, if option sellers don't take the contract from the exchange, buyers cannot buy the plant. In other words, if there are no sellers, then there are no plants available in the market. So, seller only can able to create positions taking contract from exchange and sell it to buyers and create open interest. Let's see the simple flow chart of that process. In simple words, a seller takes the contract from the exchange and sells it to buyers. Not that complicated. Take a look at this flow chart patiently. I hope now you can understand who creates the open interest. If you have any doubts, please comment and we will be happy to clear your doubts. In the next video, we will explain open interest and volume in detail and what's the relation between both. Thanks for watching and supporting us. See you all in the next video.